Hello everyone, my name is Syed and today we're going to talk about DevOps. Uh, I'm doing this video so that everybody can understand what DevOps is and I will try and make, uh, make sure that I can make it easy for you. So before what used to happen, uh, a software development team uh, normally has two things, right? So one who develops an application, another one who, who actually works on that application. So it was something like this, development team works on something, an operation team who is actually doing that particular job on that. Uh, designed or uh, built product from development to operation. Now what happens is the operation team directly does not uh, do not go and implement that on the production side. They do this some they do some tests in the dev environment or into the quality environment and stuff like that. You call this dev and UAT, QAT whatsoever. They come back with the feedback. Until then this development team is either idle or they are moved to another project which is project two. Let's call this project two. Because now uh, until these people come back with the feedback, these people have already moved to project two and there is a delay here. And the reason why these people have to provide this feedback is because customer's requirement has not met. Now let me tell you what is customer's requirement. Development team is not uh, writing a code or building an application or a system or designing a system from scratch until there is a requirement that's given by a customer. Let's say a simple example, uh, WhatsApp. Uh, somebody asks us to create an application called WhatsApp and development team has started writing the code and they build this application, they give it to the operation team, they test and they say that it's great but it's not what we need, it's, it's something more that we were expecting. So they come back with more of the feedback and in fact, uh, let's say while it's being implemented on the operation side or on the production, or sorry, on the development side, there are errors, there are bugs and you really can't you really can't move ahead because of these errors and bugs so they come back they do this you must have heard this word called um, bugs in the system and we need to uh, debug that application or debug the code right application code I mean so that's when all of this takes place now to overcome these challenges of the gap between these two people and also delay in the um, how do we call it as delay in the uh, delivery time to the customer, right? Of what he is asking for. We there's a there's there's something called DevOps that came out, and that is not a tool. DevOps is not a tool. DevOps is not a methodology. Simply, DevOps is a culture. What is a culture? It's 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 something that allows a development team and an operation team to work together, right? Simply, development team today works on plan that is given by a customer, saying that I want so and so so and so, and once they plan they inform operation team that we are building on so and so things, we are building it from the scratch, we are designing a system from the scratch, we are writing code based on this application objectives given by the customer, etc, etc. Operation team is well aware of that. Now they are prepared that there is something happening in the environment. Now when they plan the code based on this application objectives or customer requirement, they start writing a code, right? And this code is normally stored in Git. What is Git? It's a version control system. For example, you have a version 1 of code, version 2, version 3. What is version 1, version 2, version 3? Simply, when the customer asks you to do something, you do that and they come back and say that, hey, you know what, I want, you, I want you to add another feature to it. Or maybe, in other words, there are four developers working in the same team and each one is writing one part of the code. So each one is doing on their local systems. Now they push it or they save it into a SharePoint and that SharePoint is called a repository in the DevOps terminology and, you know, they call it as a repo, in other words. They move it over here to this Git, which is managing and controlling the versions of this code, nothing else. It's not helping you write the code. The code is either, is either in a text, text pad, notepad, whatever you call it as, or maybe a Visual Studio by Microsoft, right? They write it and Git is storing all of that or uh, maintaining those version one, version two, version three codes over there and also helps you to merge them. Right? It also helps you to merge this code. If there are three developers writing, it makes you to write, it helps you to make that as one single code. Now that's that's writing a code and it's done and it's saved on a git git repository or that's how you you, know, you must have heard the word, right? Git repository, right? Now this is maintaining the version versions of the code and all of that. Now once this code is built and it's kept here, it's the code is all set. Now they move on to um, build the code in such a way that it becomes an executable. They have written the code, everything is fine now. They are they have to make they have built the code to in an executable format. To ex in the executable format to build this code, they have some tools called like Maven, Gradle, etc. So they execute this code, right? It's sort of a tool that helps you to run that code over there, 
right so once you have built this board and all of that they test it okay there are many tools for testing also with the help of when they run this code now whether the port is really running or not there is selenium uh, there are many other tools that can help you test the code for example selenium is one of the most popularly used and they test it now they move it on to an operation side saying that it is now working fine from our side now you operation people can you check this into your environment as well because this is still development and now this testing is not only done by the developers, it's also performed the same kind of testing is done by operation team. Now here we start going test, right? Here we start monitoring of what is the results are, right? And now we provide the feedback, right? But how is it working? Let me let me write this and show it to you. Simple, right? So first is plan. The, that's how the symbol of DevOps have come up, right? An infinite symbol. Right? It's, it means continuous. So plan. Now planning is based on the customer's objective as I explained it. Now it's moved to writing a code in the form of version 1, version 2, version 3. It's in Git. Then they build in an executable format. Right? Maven, Gradle is an application. Now they deploy or they test it rather. You keep it as test. Right? Now, like it, Selenium is one of the tools most popularly used. Now, once they are ready with all of this, now each planning while they are doing it, the particular operation teams over here, or let me call this as dev. Let me move this off and call it as an operations here. Now, this is getting deployed here. Deployment. The one test I mean here is to deploy as well, right? The deploy here. Once this is deployed, then it is monitored. Right, and once it's monitored, right, it's given the feedback to these people. Feedback, right? So it is deployed, monitored, and the feedback that is over here in terms of whether it is bug or it is an error that it goes on. It goes in a continuous way so that these people are aware of what's happening there, and these people are giving the continuous feedback. Now there is no delay. Now this integration, this particular X that you see, this integration helps you to reduce time, redu reduces to work in silos, right? Sorry for my handwriting, just understand what I'm trying to teach you. Reduces to work in silos, and also based on this continuous feedback, the output that you're giving it to the